so I'm actually running two cameras. I've got this camera here and this camera here. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, from the top view. And then you'll also be able to a couple of side views as well. So this is going to be the first object to change this out. So I'm going to need to remove my skewer keep those together over here I know for a fact this one is the right one so got to have that of course it's going to be hooked on to my ratchet and I also need my what is this thing even called I was right the first time because considering the fact that if I was to take this off with if I was to try to take it off without it you could see that it would spin in the same direction uh, but anyway so I've recently uh, cleaned this set up so and right there bingo so the thing about these are sometimes Sometimes you won't uh, get the right size. So it's kind of cool that I have this one still available. I'll be able to use it. But I want to check to see if this one will work or not. It doesn't screw down all the way like it should. So see how easy and quick that one was to go on and off? Um, that just tells me that this one is not the right, the correct threads to go on my uh, my hub. So let me. All right. So I'll just continue to use the same one, which is kind of cool. This is a pretty simple process, right? So with this one, I don't need to use my. but I want to get that down just a little bit and then there's a torque value associated with this I actually forgot where my uh, where, where I put my torque wrench because I re redid everything so with that get this down to so you can see 20 right there I don't know if you can see that but so that is 20 so you want to take the the zero right and it's right on the 20 line there see that so then you go 21 22 23 4 5 6 27 foot pounds right there all right so got him oh anyway yeah it's that time of the year where uh we definitely have our share of of uh, uh, mosquitoes. Oh, I turned it a little bit. There we go. So you can also lock these, right? So that way you don't do that. There we go. Good to go. And that is essentially it for putting on the uh, the cogs. So, we'll, and then we'll set this aside and start working on the chain rings. So I like to keep this on here uh, loose so that it doesn't cause any problems with my seat post. Couldn't hardly reach my beer. So anyway, what I got to do is I got to remove um, each of these chain rings and then install this one. So we'll 
go through that process now. Oh, cool. Stickers. Yeah. Now, this is usually where I basically tear up the knuckles and do stuff like that. Yes! Ha ha ha!